together above the crown. Exhale the hands back to your heart. Take a deep inhalation. Bring the arms alongside the ears. Thank you today from beautiful, sunny Sanur, Bali. This posture, this back bend is to come to child's pose, knees together, big toes touching, stretching the arms out in front. Sit bones back towards the heels. So that was Cobra Pose. Uh, and I look forward to bringing many more yoga posture breakdowns. Welcome to Yoga Blossom. My name is Jessica Dinan and I'll be leading you today in a accessible yoga practice. The most important thing to remember anytime you practice yoga, whether it be down on a yoga mat or whether it be from a chair, is that yoga should never be painful. So keep that in mind as you work through your practice today. Um, listen to your body. If, if you're feeling any sharpness, if your breath is not coming easily to you, tune into that and just gently and slowly ease your way out of whatever pose you're in at the time uh, and just focus on your breath until we move on to the next posture. Uh, so that being said, let's get started with uh, a little centering, a little bit of uh, special breathing technique called calming breath. So um, sitting in, for, in your chair um, with your back away from the seat so you can sit up nice and tall. Make sure that you've chosen a chair that's not on wheels, um, that's nice and sturdy, that you feel safe sitting in. Um, you don't feel like you're wobbling around uh, or rocking back and forth. Make sure you didn't choose a rocking chair for your yoga practice today. And then just softly closing your eyes once you're sitting up nice and tall. And we're just going to invite a nice deep breath in through our nose. And we're gonna hold that for a count of one, two, three, and then exhale out through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Hold for one, two, three, and exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale through your nose. Hold for one, two, three, and exhale. And very good. And from there, you can just softly begin to flutter your eyes back open again, um, if, if you weren't already peeking. <laughs> and then from here, we're just gonna dip our chin towards our chest and come through a few uh, gentle circles with the head. So on your exhalation, just dipping your chin down towards the chest and making those circles. Doesn't matter which direction you start with. Make your circles nice and slow and be gentle. And the next time your, your chin comes back down to your chest, just go the opposite direction. And once you feel like you've made an equal number of circles on both sides, you can bring your head back to a neutral position. And from here, we're gonna take our hands just to the top uh, to rest on the tops of our shoulders. So we've kind of got our elbows sticking out at the sides, kind of looking like uh, angel wings. And this uh, posture is called angle, angel wing shoulder stretch or so shoulder circles. So we're just gonna make some circles with our elbows, almost imagining that you've got um, a pencil crayon or a marker attached to the tip of your elbow and you're drawing circles um, in space. And then take your circles the opposite direction. Notice how your shoulders feel going each way and maybe how they feel in relationship to one another. Maybe you've got one shoulder that's feeling a little bit more tight this morning or this afternoon, this evening. And maybe you've got uh, one that's feeling quite open. And then just softly releasing that down. You can give the arms a little shake out if you like. And then from here, you might want to scoot yourself a little closer to the edge of your seat. Our next posture um, is just going to be working a little bit with our coordination. Uh, so we're going to, on our inhalation, we're going to lift our right arm and our left leg up off the floor. And then exhale down. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale down. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale down. 
inhale left arm right leg exhale down one more time each side and just try to get the arm and the leg to come up at the same time perfect all right and again you can give the give the feet a little walk out give the arms a little shake out and then from here um, we're going to stay a little further forward on our seat our next posture is going to be a gentle back bend called cat cow the seated variation of cat cow so make sure that your feet are flat on the floor about hip distance apart knees are bent your hands can just be softly resting on your lap and on your inhalation we're going to lean the upper body forward slightly so we're um, getting the heart to point forward we're getting the chin to point forward um, and the elbows are the hands are going to maybe slide a little further back on the legs so that the elbows hug in towards the ribs on either side so you're creating a bit of a c shape with your spine and then on the exhalation we're going to round our back and tuck our chin towards our chest like so so we inhale and we come forward, our elbows come back towards the ribs, and we exhale and we round. And we'll do this one more time. Inhale, come for your cow stretch. Exhale to the cat. And then just find a neutral spine at center once again. From here, we'll come into a seated forward fold. So inhaling to sit up nice and tall once again. On the exhalation, we're gonna run the hands down the legs. Maybe they come right down to the floor. Maybe you hold on to your ankles. Wherever you can reach comfortably, we're just folding our upper body down over our legs. And just holding here for a breath. And then inhale to come back up. And from here, we're going to intertwine our fingers, inhale to point the palms up towards the ceiling. And then on our exhalation, we're just going to hinge towards the right. And if you're at all um, worried about your balance, you can always do this one-handed and just hold on to the underside of your seat on the left side. Otherwise, using both hands, inhale to come back up to center, exhale to go the other way inhale back up to center exhale release the arms give them a little shake you can roll your shoulders a few times too if you like and then from here we're going to cross the uh, left arm over top of the right one maybe you can stack your elbows right on top of one another and then from here you can either hold on to the backs of your shoulders giving yourself a nice hug keeping the elbows lifted away from your chest or you can um, cross the, the elbows over, pointing the, the hands upwards and see if you can clasp hands for eagle pose. So from here, whether you're, you've got your fingertips pointed up or whether you've got your hands to the backs of your, your shoulders, we're gonna keep those elbows lifted high and we're just gonna breathe here for three breaths. Really nice uh, shoulder opener. Uh, you'll feel your shoulder bl blades on the back of you kind of spreading a little bit more stretching out and then we'll just exhale to release maybe stretching our arms out at shoulder height and just doing a little arm rotation on either side and then we'll do this pose the same eagle arms pose with the opposite elbow on top so now the right elbow is going to stack on top of the left one and again you can either hold opposite um, shoulders backs of your shoulders if that works for you or maybe you can clasp hands and don't worry if you couldn't clasp hands on the first side and you can clasp hands on the second side then go for it and then just breathing here three breaths And then again, gently and slowly untwining the arms, giving them a little stretch from side to side. Maybe a little shake out. Hopefully your arms are feeling nice and warm. And then from here, we're going to take our right ankle and just rest it on top of the left knee. If you find this challenging or if it, if it is painful for your right knee to do this, 
or maybe just not accessible to you today, um, you can wrap an old tie or a, the strap of your bathrobe around your ankle and maybe just hold it just in front of your left shin or even just crossing the right ankle over the left uh, ankle, maybe as far as you come today, but you're still gonna get some opening into your hip for this um, chair variation of pigeon. So, um, if you're able to get your ankle on top of that left knee, go for it. Flexing the foot, uh, just to safeguard your knee joint on the right side. We're gonna inhale to sit up nice and tall, and then we're gonna exhale just to fold over our legs. And if you find um, the folding portion of this pose to be painful, then just sit up tall the whole time. You don't have to fold if this is, is painful for you. Or maybe don't fold quite so deeply. Holding here for a breath. And then inhaling to come back up. Be gentle as you release that foot. Even if it was just wrapped in a, in a tie or in a bathrobe, uh, bathrobe tie, or even if it was just tucked around the front of your, your other ankle. And then we'll do the other side. So try the same thing, um, the same variation with the foot on the second side. And if that doesn't work for you, then it's okay to try something different. If you've got your left ankle on top of the right knee, again, flexing that foot just to safeguard your knee joint. Inhale to sit up nice and tall and exhale to fold forward. And you might notice that you feel a more intense stretch on one side than the other. That's perfectly natural. Just as long as you can still breathe through that stretch, that's the most important thing. If it's painful, feel free to skip. And then inhale to come back up. Again, be gentle as you release that foot from whatever variation it was in. And then we're gonna walk our feet um, a little further apart, taking a wide uh, legged stance here. And we're gonna come into a pose called Goddess Twist. So we're going to um, inhale to sit up nice and tall. As we exhale, we're gonna kind of hinge towards the left, bringing our left arm to the inside of our left leg and stretching our right arm up towards the, uh, the ceiling or kind of back behind us even. And you can look back towards your right hand. You can look up at the ceiling or down at the floor, really wherever works for your neck. But you're gonna get a bit of side stretch here, a bit of twisting action in the spine. And then we'll inhale to come up and we'll exhale to go the other way. So now the left um, forearm presses into the inside of our, or sorry, the right forearm presses into the inside of the right leg and the left arm stretches up. Sometimes yoga teachers get their rights and lefts confused. I apologize. <laughs> Looking up straight at your hand or up at the ceiling or maybe down at the floor if that works best for you. And then inhale to come up. Maybe just give the spine a little wiggle <laughs> after you're done. And then you can walk your feet back together. We're gonna come to standing for our next couple of poses. Uh, so just coming up and I'm just gonna turn my seat, my chair to the side so you can see a little bit better. So we're coming to stand behind our chair, um, both hands to the seat back, and we're gonna come into a little bit of a balancing pose here called uh, Chair Assisted Warrior Three. So both hands firmly planted on your seat back. Um, you can look down at your seat uh, or maybe down just slightly in front of your seat at the floor. We're gonna bring our, our weight and our attention into the right leg. Um, we're just gonna extend the left leg back behind us. Even if that means the foot just barely leaves the floor. Maybe you're able to extend it a little further back. Maybe you're able to extend it quite a lot back and you're, you're finding you're bending your elbows and your heart is getting closer to the back of your seat. But even if you just look like this, you're still balancing, you're still doing the pose. Um, so try not to stress too much about what you might look like. <laughs> and then when you're ready to bringing your left foot back to the floor, we'll do the same thing other side. So now shifting your weight and your intention into that left leg and inhaling your right foot up off the floor. And just see where you, where you can bring it to. And your balance may be different on this side. It may, it may feel, you maybe feel a lot more wobbly on one side than the other. And again, that's perfectly natural. Um, 
and every day our balance is different. So if you do this practice more than once, this yoga blossom practice, you may find that some days you're better with warrior three than others. And that is also perfectly natural. Oh, and then from here, um, before we come to sitting, getting ahead of myself, we're going to uh, come into a downward facing dog with, uh, with chair assist. So keeping the hands to the back of the chair again, we're going to, as we exhale, we're just gonna start to walk our feet back until we come into kind of a, a bit of an L shape, an upside down L shape. So our heart comes to point towards the floor. And you can keep some soft bend in your knees here. They don't have to be super straight. And then inhaling and just start to walk your feet back up towards the chair. And then we can come back down to sitting for our last pose before relaxation. So bringing the feet hip distance apart once again, feet flat on the floor. Um, make sure you've got some space between your back and the seat back. And then we're going to come for a spinal twist. So we're gonna bring the right hand across the body to the outside edge of the left knee. We're gonna bring the left hand to the back of the seat. And we're gonna inhale to sit up nice and tall. And as we exhale, we twist. We always twist when our lungs are empty. So always twist as you're exhaling. Holding here maybe for a couple breaths. Notice how the twist feels. We don't move a lot from our middle spine, so it might feel a little stiff. You might feel like you're not really twisting that far. That's okay. And then coming back on an inhalation, Letting that inhale out, inhaling one more time to sit up nice and tall as you bring your left hand across the body to the outside edge of the right knee. Right hand comes to the back of the seat and as we exhale, we twist to the right. Holding here for a couple of breaths. And then inhaling to come back to center. From here, um, we're moving into the best part of any yoga class, relaxation. Uh, so you're welcome to stay seated in your chair if, if preferred. If you'd like to maybe lie down on your couch or on the floor um, or maybe on your bed and just make yourself comfortable, come to lying flat on your back if, you're, um, if, you, if that's available to you or maybe lying on your side if you have any low back issues and lying flat isn't comfortable. Um, if you'd like to stay in your seat, Maybe just shifting your sit bones a little further forward, leaning back on your seat, making yourself nice and cozy. You can even cover yourself up with a little blanket if you want, um, resting your hands in your lap or you can wrap them around you. And then just softly close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, just allow the facial muscles to soften, allow the jaws to soften. And then feel free to tune into your breath here and just enjoy each inhalation and each exhalation and stay here for as long as you need, as long as you'd like. Um, so all of the poses that we have taken so far in our practice today have been in order to prepare us for this relaxation at the very end. So take your time here, maybe press mute on your, um, your television and just enjoy and relax. And hopefully uh, I'll have the opportunity to practice with you again soon. Namaste. Bring the arms alongside the ears. Thank you today from.